Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily Lee and this is Heavenly Host Vision Lily and I'm so, so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. The Almighty God bless and keep you safe, sound and protected, guys. So you left and something left and it got confused, okay? Lord, we thank you for your protection upon us. We give you praise. In the name of your Son, Christ, Yahusha, hallelujah. So, Lord, when you're in the life of these people, they didn't recognize you, okay? Some of you were, in, you were in that company, in that group, in that organization, in that family. They underestimated, they didn't see your worth. They thought that you were nothing, okay? They thought that you were just nothing. They could do without you. They could, everything. Because while you were there, beloved, things were happening well. They were motivated. They were happy. They were, glow, they were joyful. They were excelling. They were succeeding. Things were happening so gloriously, guys. But they were looking at you differently. They thought that your presence there was not important. They and, and then so something happened, guys, that made you to leave. All right. You left. And when you left, they didn't it didn't mean anything to them. Okay. The vacuum didn't mean anything to them because they quickly replaced you. They quickly replaced you and thought that the grass was green on the other side. <laughs> Things started going on as usual. You know, it was like, okay, fine, you've gone. And it didn't mean anything to you because they didn't want you in the first place. They're like, they were it's missing your guy, right? So obviously, they didn't want you. Obviously, they didn't value you. So you left quietly. You left. Even though heartbroken, but you still left. Okay. And when you left this person or that family or that business or that that, that group of people, you when you left them, beloved, Shortly after, things started happening in opposite directions, started facing difficulties. They became less motivated. Things were happening in their lives in a way that they could, not, they could not handle it. Negative things, guys. And they were like asking questions. That Asking questions why they were going through all of those things. This part of the fact that they, they, they did everything to make things continue. Okay? Beloved, they didn't know. That while you were there, while you're not seeing your value, God was seeing your value. They didn't know that while you were there, things happened, things were going on in their life positively because there was something that was happening. They were trying to look at you physically, beloved, but God sees by the heart. That is the same reason in 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, that the Lord had to warn Somewhere not to anoint Saul because of his high statues and things like that. He had to choose David, the man after his heart. That was they were, they were not seeing. They were they were trying to to look for someone of Saul's status. Okay. Not even it, it might not even be your physical status, but it might be some things, some you know, some little things that they were trying to consider that they were not seeing in the, to them. They were not seeing those things in you. Okay, but God was hiding something about you, all right? And when you left, when you left, you left with that thing. You left with that thing. And, the, and it got them confused why they were, things were no longer happening in their lives the way you were there. They were confused why things were no longer happening the way they were happening while you were there. And they, they came and, they, and there was a there was a, a revelation that came to them that when you left something about you left and what was that left with you beloved your grace the grace that they were not seen the grace that they were not seen the invisible hand in your life that they were not seen beloved they were functioning with your, by your grace they were excelling by your grace. They could be happy, they could be glorious, they could be excited, they could, they could do things so well because your grace was present there. But because they couldn't see it, because they, couldn't, they could not see that grace, they underestimated you. Put you through situations. Subjected you to things that you would normally not be, subject, not, not be subjected to. They brought you at low level. They made you to doubt your worth. Beloved, there was something that the God placed inside of you that was sustaining them. 
and they were not even not about that. And when you left, that thing left with you. That thing is called grace. Now they are regretting. It's too late. Unfortunately, it's too late. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not happy that they are facing what they are facing right now. But it is a lesson that people should learn to look at people inwardly. Some people, some of us, like guys, you know, people of God, some of people, some of people of God, they, they are usually mean, being minimized because of their outward appearance, because of the way they see them. But they are forgetting the grace that, they, that, that is in them. Where, whatever you touch, you are blessed. Whatever that you go to is blessed. Whatever you say is blessed. That was what they were, they were feeling to see. That's what they were feeling to see. Beloved, may God bless you right now. May you be able to put your grace into effectiveness. May the Lord be able to use you in your own way to excel as an individual. I'm not going about giving your services, your life, your everything to people that, that, that will end up not appreciating you. May God preserve you guys. You let down something about your life and, 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 and check the wondering. And that thing is your grace. Your grace is no longer there. And they are really facing difficulties, guys. They are facing difficulties. But they will have to heal. They will have to heal to learn how to accept people for who they are. Look at them from every angle, both spiritually, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Thank you guys for listening. God bless you and preserve your grace. We're going to excel in your endeavors. Thank you for listening. I've been Emily D. See you in the next video.